Hey there everyone. So this time around we'll be focusing on two very different kinds of books. One of which, uh, the book with no pictures is um, ironically meant for children by B.J. Novak. And uh, Pushkin's Fairy Tales by, uh, from the Palik painting. So the, this is based on Palik painting, it's not the author of course. So <clears throat> we'll start with um, the book with no pictures by B.J. Novak. So the whole point of this book is even a book with no pictures can be uh, very interesting for children if it is uh, written with the right context. And uh, there's a very uh, important context of lettering in this book that you'll, uh, you'll understand when I open this through. So without the dust jacket it's the same thing on the inside. But I'll give you the blurb here. So this book is... Uh, fairly costly if you buy it at full price uh, it's pretty thin but um, goes at 17.99 US dollars for full price but then you can probably get it for cheap from um, from people you know because I got this for second hand and the book of the quality of the book is, book is excellent for, for a second hand book so <clears throat> as you can see so these are word clouds so word clouds if you, if you do not know they give you the idea of uh, different sizes of the letterings to give variety and uh, I, uh, like focus on different words so these are colored words as well so that is what the whole book focuses on starts off with this line it makes you in so the whole so the book starts off well i'll show you it says at the very beginning that you have to read so here everything the words say the person say reading the book has to say so that is the whole point of this book and inside for example I'll show you one of the pages so when you read this through <laughs> I'm not going to read this through because that simply looks silly maybe I will it, it actually looks nice so it <coughs> says glug 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 my face is a bug I ain't ants for breakfast right off the and then <laughs> like you have to pronounce the whole thing rock and this so th the whole thing the whole uh, rhythm and the lettering and how it's spelled out is a very nice concept and that is what this book is about so if you understand so children are supposed to be very interested by these silly sounds and that is the whole usp of this book and you have to read the whole book throughout so you get the point so that is what this book is about so even a book without pictures can be very interesting for children i'll give you the back side so pause that and read that there so there you have it um the book with no pictures <coughs> We'll be moving on to our second book. This is a fairly serious book, Pushkin's Fairy Tales from the Palik paintings. So, <clears throat> um, Palik paintings are, are kind of paintings um, that are very frequent, uh, very well-defined art form in, in a part of Russia. So, these are based. These fairy tales are based on the uh, paintings that you uh, see in in objects uh, which are done with that painting style. So these are actual paintings reproduced in high definition from uh, in, in that style. <clears throat> and Palak paintings are usually done on objects. So I, I think there are, so for example, this one, this, this is uh, done on a, on a bowl, as you can see. So it's circular in nature. And um, so this, this is a story called um, Roslan and Ludmila. Ludmila, I might be pronouncing it wrong. And then there's stories, uh, story. This story is called uh, the t uh, Tale of Sar Sultan. It's not Sultan, it's Sultan. So as you can see, the artwork it's gorgeous and it's a very different kind of book. You have uh, specimens of that painting throughout, scattered throughout. Each page has paintings from this book. Uh, sorry, I had to pause there. So, 
as I was saying, uh, you can see that most of the, the stories themselves are very different because they are not actually stories but in the form of poems. So, uh, if, if you're not interested in um, prose verses, maybe, yeah. Like prose verses, if, if you're not interested in prose verses, you might not uh, like this book in its form. But just for the illustration, I would say it is truly a worthwhile book getting, a while worth getting. Because each page has uh, illustrations from the Palak paintings. So I think there was, I saw hmm, one object somewhere. So it's, it's so dense in paintings that um, it's very difficult to find a specific uh, object in it. See, yeah, so for example, this is what I was talking about. So you get the Palak paintings in these kinds of objects. They used to add on um, objects with this painting style. And that is what is covered in this uh, book. So you can see how detailed and um, close by dense uh, these painting styles are. Let me just uh, get out of this. Yeah, little focus maybe. Yeah. So <clears throat> it's it's a beautiful kind of artwork. Uh, that you can get tale of the so the, this is for example tale of the fisherman and the little fish hopefully it's focusing well for you to see there and it ends with another two page spread so this this is the stuff kind of stuff that you can get when you like get books that are second hand but i don't usually let me bother this because you either you do not get books like this uh, first hand or um, you get them for very high price so I'll give you the blurb here Alexander Pushkin so Pushkin's fairy tales uh, coupled with the Palak paintings and the book with no pictures both very interesting books and I personally think they are both well worth getting and yeah as always if you have any questions any comments anything to say feel free to um, comment in the comment section and yeah happy reading